friends, it's me, your favorite hack testing YouTuber, back at it again, making a fool of myself to see if these really work. Here we got some PJ pants. Oh yes, put it right over your head, and we got a date night. He'll never know those were PJ pants in a previous life. You could have fooled me, I would have never known either. We made a similar dress like this before. I literally fooled that word. This is taking it a step further and making it a little off the shoulder look. Those are mine. I needed really big pants for this one. So this is very similar to a one I did before, but I thought it worked better because if I used your pants, they would be bigger and they would fit. Do you like these pants? I do, and you're wrong. Oh no. <laughs> oh, it's too tight. Okay, I need to turn this so the pants face you. <laughs> It's getting hot in here. Hello, pants hole. Where are you? Pray this fits over my big old head. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Date night. <laughs> I look like a potato. Oh, okay. So this is what it was last time, but we're somehow supposed to get this over our shoulder. Yeah, that ain't happening. Oh. I think this is pretty cute. This came out good. No. No, I'm looking in the, the thing and it looks good. We gotta snatch it up. That looks good. I snatched myself up. It has to look good. I like this. It's getting really hot. This is, I don't know, I'm dying. Get me my pants back. No. Oh, there's another hack. You only cut the crotch. Oh, she tied a bow. Oh, and then she twisted it. Okay, okay. Yeah, it looks a little rough around the edges. Like, you know when your kid's school has like a fundraiser? This is what the younger, cooler, hip moms wear. That's the kind of vibes I'm getting from this. So, I mean, if you want to sacrifice a perfectly good pair of leggings for a mediocre shirt, be my guest. But I, I'm gonna try this. I will. You watch me. Oh look, a perfectly good pair of tights. Oh, but I want a new shirt. So we're gonna snip snip at the crotch. I oh, know it's gone. This is big enough for my head to fit through. She's stretchy. Now we put this on. Who needs spanks when you got tights? This is gonna be snatched. Oh, okay, so I wanna try something with this instead. Science has gone too far. Mm. <laughs> oh. mm. You wanna mm. throw hands? Come on, come on. Cute and deadly, but that's not how you do it. We're gonna do how they intended. All right, so they took this, tied a bow. You know, gotta make it cute. This is the ugliest bow I've ever seen. <gasps> I think this looks better than when they did it. This is cute. And it's got the bow in the back. Fashion Nova stocks dropped to zero. I seriously feel like you can make some of the cutest stuff like with tights. 10 out of 10 would wear. That does not look like a bow. It's still overall cute. It's a bow. I'm gonna put on the sleeves again. No. Round two. No. Fight me in Smash Bros. Do you have a perfectly good pair of plum colored leggings? Say no more. We're just gonna cut them into shorts. Ooh, and then cut the crotch. Oh, all the way around. What? Oh, she made a crop top out of it. It's kind of rough around the edges, but maybe that's the kind of look she was going for. I don't know her style. Janice could be walking through the back alleyway of a 7-Eleven doing illegal things. I don't know. But after seeing that shirt and this DIY, that's the kind of person I perceive her to be. Someone who takes shortcuts. It's not always a bad thing. No. Dress made from your boyfriend's shirt. No sewing or cutting or ruining your boyfriend's shirt necessary. Oh, all right. So you just tie the sleeves around your waist and then make a knot in the back. That seems simple enough, right? We got this super cute plaid shirt over here, but you know, if it ain't your thing, or I don't know, maybe going to work or school, this is a daytime outfit, but you look it for a nighttime outfit. Say no more. So this one looks like it's pretty easy. You don't have to like do any crazy stuff. Try to get your sleeves out. Pants come out of the top hole. Wait, is this not long enough to be a dress? No, time to get a bigger plaid shirt. So you take the sleeves, just crisscross them, snatch real good, and then tie the back. I actually think this looks cute. It is. Wow, this is a whole look. I like this one. I just wish it was longer. This is kind of an oversized flannel. I'm sad that it wasn't like longer. I think this one gives a big fat yes. yes. I agree. I like it. It's I cute. I like it too. Look, like it actually makes it for a cute top yeah. with those shorts. Yeah. This is actually a feasible hat. Yeah, this one actually works. Like completely transforming an outfit out of a plaid shirt. If it was a little longer, I could have made it. Well, it has to be a lot longer to be able to be a dress, but I like it. 
Do you feel like you have no clothes? That you have to go into your man's closet and take his favorite dress shirt to DIY? Oh, she's really gonna cut it. Oh no. What did you do when the poor man's only had like three shirts? She's like, nope, what's yours is mine. Oh no, she ruined it. She really ruined it. You could have just tied it like a normal human being, but no, you had to do a bow. I never seen a dress shirt with a bow. You know, when you think about it, you're like, okay, you know what? That's kind of a cute idea, but when you see it done, and it's like, ugh, you could have just tied it like a normal shirt tie. And now it looks kind of stupid. Yeah, Kelly, you really done messed this up. I'm not even gonna attempt this. Because I respect my man's side of the closet. I mean, I'll still DIY them, but I won't be cutting them up, making them ugly. Hoodie too big and warm, no problem. Take out the string. Ugh, I feel like they should put a disclaimer. Once you take that string out, there's no putting it back in. I think there's like a special way to like do it, but I don't know that special way. And I've tried it and it doesn't work. I feel like I've seen this so many times, but I've never attempted it myself. Like making a cute two piece set out of one hoodie, like skirt and cropped hoodie. This is up my alleyway. It's my style. I like this look. If I can only figure out how to get the dang drawstring through the waist, I, I think this would actually be cute. Take a hot glue stick, cut it into sections. <gasps> oh no, oh, I was like, oh, you do not want to make it touch. Wow. You want it to melt, but you can't like push the iron down on it. Otherwise, you'll just have a sticky mess. <laughs> That's nasty. And my nose is kind of stuffy, so I, mean, I worked hard to get those up there in the first place. They're pretty thick. You know, I was thinking about this. Why can't you just do a regular glue gun and then just like make whatever design you want? Why do you gotta like cut it with some scissors? Like, we're gonna do it the five minute crafts way. These are hard to cut. I don't think we're gonna be using very many. So we're just gonna cut them carefully. Angle your glue cylinder down so they don't go anywhere. Oh, you can just forget this other stick. This is a workout in itself. So this is a clearance shirt that I got from Target. Well, what are we gonna do? Make a design? I think I'm just gonna make the boat. It's not a regular boat, it's a glue boat. And just fill it up with these things. Oh, it's perfect pyramid. Okay, we don't even need all of these. All right, I think I'm gonna do the pyramid first. And then we're gonna take my flat iron because do I really look like I own an iron like for clothes? Come on now. Your girl can barely brush her hair and you expect me to have an iron? So basically, you just have to put heat above it. This isn't working. <laughs> I need an actual iron for this. You know, whenever I have some creases in my clothes, I just whip out the good old flat iron and just like do the creases like this. And I actually, it, it works. That's why I've never gotten like a real iron. Also, I don't like irons because when I was a kid and my mom was trying to teach me how to iron, I got the sickest burn on my hand. Like the first time I picked up an iron and tried to iron, I ironed my wrist. I still have a scar from that fateful day. Okay, glue, hello, hurry up and melt. Point of this hack to walk around with a gluey shirt. Yeah, it's supposed to make like a cool bean-shaped decal on your shirt. It's gonna come off when you wash it. Exactly. All right, I'm gonna do it this way. Boo. Make sure you don't touch it. And this is the flat iron I use all the time, so I've been using it for like the past five years, so I don't wanna ruin it. But I also want this glue to dry like now. I think I see one piece slightly melting. Mm-hmm, it's a process. But I mean, if you really like this look of melted glue on your shirt, then you gotta be patient. It'll be worth it. Okay, I have my settings turned up to the highest, 450 degrees. It's an oven in here, and the glue is still struggling to melt. Y'all really wanted me to do an entire shirt of these things? I don't think so. By the way, that's my metal straw. If you're wondering why I'm drinking from a Hydro Flask, it's to save the turtles. Today on my second channel, I uploaded a Visco Girl transformation, so check that out. Wow, look, they're melting. Okay, okay. I mean, does it look dumb? Kind of. Yeah. Didn't even cover the whole boat. We can't even move it now. Oh, there's no going back. It's too late. This is my shirt now. This is my happy place. Okay, friends, here it is. Finished product. What do you think? Do you like my super cool new decal? I hate it. Ooh, I love me some good old scarf hacks. See, these are actually cool. Okay, no way that's gonna stay. No way. That shirt is gonna stay, defying the rules of gravity right in front of my eyes. How did she take off the shirt under? And it stayed in place. Yeah, I'm not buying this. Ashley, you don't fool me. 
So over here, I got this little scarf dress. You know, this actually works. I could actually wear this as a dress. All I needed to do was properly tie it. But no, we're doing something else today. So we're gonna take it like this, and instead of flashing the camera, I'm going to do one side like that, and then the other side like, like this. Ooh. I feel like there's so much you could do with this, but today we're just making it into a shirt, and I feel like this scarf is really long and does not want to be made into a shirt. It wants to be a dress. I think it's working. Ta-da. Date night. It's just bad. Baggy over here. It's, look look how baggy looks this is. Really bad. Yeah, but I feel like this is just a really big scarf. If you do it with like a really small I don't scarf. get why girls don't just wear a shirt. Maybe they have a scarf that Grandma Gertrude gave them and they just wanna make it into a shirt. The top looks cute. Look at it. If you do it just like this, like you just take a picture of it, like a lot of school photo over here. That kind of looks cute, but this part is just way too baggy. But I still feel like this wants to be a dress. How can we make it into a dress? Yeah, like that. What do I do with this? I hate it. I'm just gonna be Batman. Batman. I should just make my own hacks video. Life hacks by me. Smash like if you want me to do a life hacks with my own hack. There'd be no heat, glue, or sewing involved. Okay, so she does another one. I'm still not 100% convinced. So she just tied it around her waist. Okay, and then flips it around. It's a shirt. She made a freaking crisscross applesauce shirt. Put it with a skirt. Okay, you know what? That's actually kind of cute. I'm not really like feeling the fringes. This is a lot of steps. Okay, she tied it and then she did the good old twisty round and then just like put up the sleeves like it's a, it's a shirt. Okay, I'm so confused. I want a scarf shirt. Let's make a scarf shirt. Wow, I literally went to Target today and bought another scarf for $15 and then realized like this one is bigger than the one I bought. Like I needed a big scarf. But anyway, let's try this hat. So this one, there's a lot of steps to it. We're gonna tie around the waist once and then twice. Now why can't this just be a hack? This is so easy. It's done. Skirt, done. Mm. Stunting in my leopard print. This is all the safari animals. We got a zebra, we got a leopard, we got a tiger, we got the whole dang zoo. So you tie it, you tie it twice, and then you lift it up like this, just to show everybody you tied it like, okay, we did it, we did it, we, not yet, okay. And then twist it to the back, and then take those pieces that you lifted up before, and we're gonna crisscross them. No, I feel like this is not gonna work. What did I do wrong? Perhaps my knot was a little too thick. I tied most of the fabric. I wasn't supposed to do that. Okay, so you're supposed to tie just a little piece. A little knot. Oh, gotta suck it in for this knot. All right, so now you have a lot of fabric. So turn it around, and then you're gonna crisscross applesauce. Why does it look stupid on me? What am I doing wrong? Why does it look so bad on me? These are supposed to like somehow tie, and then you have like a long sleeve shirt. Like I get what they were trying to do and I get that it's like kind of cute. What did I do wrong that Ashley over here did so very correct that it literally gave her sleeves? Look what it's supposed to look like. It's not the same thing this at all. Is nothing. How did it cross like that? She twisted it around. Oh, maybe she twisted it to the side, not all the way. She twisted it all to the side. They don't really want you to know how to do these hacks. Because if you know how to do them, you'll be like, oh, I don't need five minute crafts anymore. Am I doing it? Yes. This is kind of. I mean, it kind of had sleeves. Okay, girls, just buy normal clothes. Don't do this. No. No, I'm doing it. Once I took my shirt off, I don't know how to fix it. How did we have it? Basically a shawl. It's not cute. Oh, the back is kind of how it was supposed to be. The back is supposed to be like this. Am I supposed to tie these two pieces together? Is that why I messed up? Mission failed. We'll get them next time. No date night? No. No <gasps> date night for you. This is supposed to be the date night shawl outfit. Take me to a zoo. Yeah. I'll, I'll, fit leave, right I'll in. leave you there. <laughs> okay. This one is a big fat fail. <gasps> you fool! Oh my god! You just made me spill my vino all over my fancy new dress. Your shawl belongs to me now. Okay, I know we did something similar to this, but this one's different. We spicing this up. This shawl DIY 2.0. So she tied it around her neck. And then takes her never-ending shawl and ties it on the front and then, oh, puts it over again. Oh, and then we add in a belt. Oh, wow, okay. She looked better than she did before, but I want to know where all this fabric came from. This is not one shawl. She went to the Joann's and she got three, four yards of yellow fabric. Because I, I tried this, it did not work. You need a shawl the size of Alabama for this to be successful.
Take some printer paper, or you know, us peasants call that a photo I printed out with my colored printer. So they cut it out, put it in plastic wrap. Oh, see, I wonder if this is gonna work. Cut around it, put it on a t-shirt. Oh, okay, so the parchment paper. See, that's the barrier between the heat and the t-shirt. And then all the plastic melts and it sticks it onto his shirt. Wow, you really could have printed out and made any shirt of any Google image that you could possibly find and Betsy over here really printed out a heart you wasted all that time and effort for a white shirt with a red heart and Janice with her light bulb shirt I don't got any bright ideas in here but I do right here on my shirt nice gold star for you do you wake up with messy hair? Are you sick and tired of it? Messy hair every morning. It's not like we have this super cool invention called a brush. Does she sleep with a freaking pantyhose on her head? Wouldn't that hurt your head? I have a very sensitive scalp. I don't think this hack is gonna work for me. But apparently, she just fell asleep with pantyhose on her head after a wild night of binge watching The Handmaid's Tale and then just wakes up with perfect hair. Before I brushed my hair and after <laughs> I bet she didn't even nap she a fake napper anyways that's all for today I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to hit that like button in the face for some more life hacks and comment below let me know which one was your favorite and make sure you subscribe to the wolf pack oh and make sure you turn on notifications click click I love you guys so much thanks for watching bye guys